In 1888, inventor Thomas Edison announced to the world that he would make a device that would do for the eye what the phonograph does for the ear. His goal was to reproduce life motion by photography. Edison's team first developed a system using transparent celluloid sheets wrapped around cylinders with sequences of tiny images viewed through a microscope lens. Abandoning that path, they next built a camera that used a long strip of celluloid film with perforations along one edge. This is a working replica of that camera, constructed in 2012. And this video shows the first tests after completion. The speed of one of the motors is governed by these metal balls, the centrifugal motion operating a control device. This test shows a strip of paper passing through the intermittent mechanism. Edison's team made only one of these horizontal cameras. This is the original camera on which the replica was based. This first kinetograph camera had two motors and the film ran horizontally with perforations along the bottom edge and a circular picture. Various short films were made with the camera, and in 1891, the results were demonstrated in public. <laughs> 